Guys, this is a fun little project. It doesn't take a lot of time and it's a great way to get some practice on the lathe. I'm making the handles for these cheese knives. You can get the cheese knife set from Rockler and I'll have a link in the description. I've already made two of the handles. I'm gonna make a few more. We'll go through all the steps. I'm making the handles out of babinga and you can see I've got a nice piece of babinga here with a little bit of sapwood in it. And the first thing I wanna do is rip this board to an inch and a quarter by an inch and a quarter. Now I'm over at the miter saw and I want to make sure that I have a nice square edge on this side so I'm just going to take a little bit off. My turning block will start out at six and a half inches. So next I'll measure six and a half. And cross cut it at the mark. And since I want more than one, I'll hold this block flush at the back and cross cut it again. Making are five inches long. The blank is six and a half inches. So I'm taking a measurement and making a mark at six inches. And I'm going to round the blank from the six inch mark over to the front. This will be the front where the blade is connected. Now I've got the blank pretty well rounded and I've measured at three quarters of an inch and at five inches. The three quarter inch mark is kind of the thicker part of the handle. So I'll be removing material here and a little material here. And the five inch mark is the length of the handle. Well, that looks pretty good. So next I'm going to remove the tool rest and give the handle a good sanding while it's still on the lathe. Next I've got to drill a hole exactly in the center and it has to be square. There's a better way to do it if you have a chuck for your lathe, but I don't have one. So this is what I've come up with. I'm wrapping the handle in a piece of fabric and I used a two by four and I drilled an inch and five eighths hole in two two by fours stacked together. I ripped them in half and now I'm going to clamp the handle in place and that'll hold it pretty straight and I'll drill this hole with the drill press. I need to drill a 3 8 inch hole in the center of the handle and the hole needs to be an inch deep so I've marked the drill bit with a piece of tape. Attach the hardware to the handle 
with an Allen key and lubricate the threads with a little bit of soap. This is where you want to take your time and just make sure you get started straight. Once you get started, then it's pretty easy going. And the soap really helps. For finish, I'm using Garnet Lac, which is basically a dark shellac. It dries really fast, so I'm able to get three or four coats on in about a half an hour. To give the handles a really nice, smooth finish, I've let the handles dry for about half of an hour, and I'm using some of the paste wax that Lynn from the Darwin Orber Channel makes and 4-0 steel wool to rub the finish out. Okay, and that's about all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.